Hey, hey, Ariana here from Scale and Simplify. And in this video, I want to show you where to find the settings for the AI tools that are now available from within Kartra in various different places throughout the account. Um, so first in the top right hand corner in your sort of main settings menu here, you're going to go down to settings and you will land on this page and then the AI business settings are at the bottom. So these are settings that it is going to pull from to learn about you and your business and to take that into account when the copy is being generated. So at the time of recording, it is May 2024. Um, you have the ability to use AI anywhere where there's writing involved. So in the email builder and in the page builder, you'll notice um, the AI features that will help you craft copy. Um, and as it does that, it's pulling from this information. So you want to make sure that you come in here and give it as much information as possible so that whatever it comes out with is aligned to your business and your messaging. So uh, there are three questions that you can feed at the answers to. Each of them has a maximum character length of 200, 250. Um, and so the first one is what products or, or services do you offer? Who are your audience and customers? And how would you describe your business? So a couple of ways that you can do this, and I wanted to share a few tips here as well. So you want to be as specific and concise again like if you're not feeding it quality information you're not going to have a quality output um, and so you really want to maximize those 250 characters and one way that you can do that is to use another ai tool <laughs> chat gpt to craft those statements with you um, so here's a prompt um, that i used that you can um, test out for yourself as well. Um, so I'm explaining that I'm training another AI tool. I'm asking it to help me come up with statements that they need to be under 250 characters and that they need to be clear and concise. And then I'm saying the first statement is about my products and services. And then I just did kind of like a brain dump of what I was thinking. Um, and it came up with, with this statement. Okay, so that's what I've used here. The other thing you can do here is, you know, instead of a random um, whatever comes to mind for you in the moment, um, if you're really happy with your copy of like a sales page or homepage, services page, anything that you've written already, um, you know, instead of this short blurb that I put here, you can feed that entire piece of content to it um, to help you whittle down how you can phrase that in under 250 characters, again, like focusing on the core messaging. Okay, and then same thing with your audience and customers, you can replicate that. Another thing you can do with ChatGPT is um, feed it your entire sales page, for example, homepage, whatever it might be, and ask it to describe your target audience and customers. So it, this doesn't have to be where like you've written your ideal client avatar elsewhere. You can actually see what it says when you feed it existing copy you've written. That's also a little test to see if it lines up with who your intended audience is. Um, but you can play around with that and put that in here. And then how you would describe your business. This is a little bit of like an opportunity, I think, to just put in whatever other key information you want it to have. Um, and probably the most important, in my opinion, is what makes you and your business unique. Um, so that as the copy is being written, it's pulling in whatever that unique angle is and any core messaging and like key words that you repeat over and over again in your business. Okay, and then you hit save and that's it. Um, you can test this as well. So, you know, put in information here and then test it out in the areas where the AI is available and see how it's going. And then you can always come back in here and make tweaks as well. All right, hope that was helpful.